everyone, and welcome to How to YouTube, episode 3. Anyway, today we're going to talk about multiple audio tracks on recordings. This is an amazing little feature where you can have an audio track for... Normally with, well, normally with recordings, you have an audio track which contains your game audio and your microphone audio. And that's great for recording and just edit quick edits and up to YouTube. But what if, what if, you wanted to actually have the audio for your microphone separate from the game audio? And that way, you can actually edit the audio for the game and tweak and play without having to worry about cutting out your own audio. You can even increase the volume of your own audio, and you can even possibly decrease your own audio or even up the game audio if the game's really quiet without massively upping yourself. Uh, very useful. I do it a lot with the Factorio series. It's got a very quiet background audio. So I, I actually increase that audio by 100% while keeping my microphone at the normal level. And I know, my microphone's annoying, isn't it? Because my voice is annoying sometimes to some people. Anyway. Uh, okay. So. Uh, let's see. We've got the game capture still set up before. Let's actually change this over for you guys to a display capture. So what I'm going to do is today is I'll show you how to do the multiple audio tracks. Because, you know, that's kind of an important thing, isn't it? Click settings. It's important. You go to output. It's important. <laughs> Remember here before we had audio tracks? Maybe told you there were four of them. Well, that's where it comes from. Audio tracks one, two, three, four. You can have up to four audio tracks in OBS. I recommend setting your streaming to track four. Again, this part only applies if you're actually playing on live streaming. If you're just recording, not a problem. If you're streaming and recording, set it to four. The reason being, what you want to do is set number four to catch all. Everything goes out on track four. But your microphone goes out on track one, your desktop goes out on track two, your Skype goes out on track three, and everything else, everything at all goes on track four, so you can stream. Because if you don't set a, a catch-all, then you'll have recordings perfect, but, you're, but people streaming won't be able to hear something. So it's useful to have a, like a catch-all position. Not changing anything else, just going straight into recording. Now, recording is a bit different, because in, in streaming you can have one which is a catch-all. In recording you get tick boxes. So you're saying, hey, I'm recording, and I would like to record track one and track two. You get a warning, because FLV doesn't support multiple tracks, but we're using MP4, and MP4 does support multiple tracks. Okay, so there's a benefit. If we say we're going to record, but we want to record track one and track two, but we want to stream track three, see what I'm doing here? We're saying track, th track three is not going to get used, track four is going to be for streaming, track one and two is going to be for recording. That's all you have to do. If you want to change, if you want to do three, you can do three, you can do four, you can do all four. So do, configure that however you need it to be done, but make sure you've got like a catch-all in the uh, in the streaming tab, or if you're not streaming, just do what you want to do with that. Anyway, nothing else changes there. That is it. Done. Complete. You are now set to record dual audio tracks. Unfortunately for you, all the tracks are going to contain all of the audio, which is not hel helpful in any way. That's where the mixer comes in. Hello, mixer. Boom. Remember this from last episode? Good. So what you do in here is you just come in here and you say, hey, I want my microphone to broadcast on tracks one and four. And I want my desktop audio to broadcast on two and four. Or you can flip them around and do it that way around. Say I want my, my, I want my desktop audio to be on track one and my microphone to be on track two. But remember, we keep the catch-all at the end. That's for streaming purposes. So the, for example, when recording, desktop audio will be recorded on track one only. Microphone will be recorded on track two only but they'll both be outputted on track four, and track four is not recorded. Remember earlier, we did not choose track four for recording, but we did choose track four to be streamed. So both of those go out on the stream, so people on the stream can hear everything, and then the recordings get set separately. That is all you have to do. If you have like Skype in there, um, you need to install a piece of software called Virtual Audio Cable to give you more audio systems. But uh, if you have any more audio systems in there, you can you can just say, oh, I want that like, webcam to be number three or something like that. So if you've got multiple microphones, you can do that quite nicely. But that's our current setup. One, two, and then a catch-all on four. Done. That is actually it. Done. Complete. And there's nothing special. That's it. Done. There is literally nothing else you can do. I'm just going to bring up a quick audio file, because I like to have music in my videos. I'm just going to quickly grab a music file. Here we go. Uh, let's get some of Lorenzo. Lorenzo has got some nice music. I like the downtown ones. Downtown. There we go. That's for in a minute. I'll just put that there. Okay. So, we're going to start recording. Boom. We are now recording on this screen. If we move this around, we like that, we will see that it will be recorded. I'll show you the recording in a second. I'm going to very quickly bring it up here and go just a couple of those notches. That's important. And then what we'll do now is something very important. Go away, audio thingy. Thank you. 
I'm going to open some music. Downtown, please. Opening music. There we go. Now we spin the audio. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. I do like the uh, music. Now you probably can't hear very much of what I'm saying, so I'm going to turn that down. There we go. So, there we go. So now we have this music playing in the background. It's very, very happy. It's nice to playing. It's good music. You probably can't hear much of what's actually your music playing because my microphone's a lot louder, especially when I turn the volume right down like that. But uh, the idea is that would be a game that you're playing or music that's happening in your background or whatever you're doing. It's constantly going. But if you look here, you can see on the uh, on the mixer, the desktop audio is bouncing up and down because of that, and the microphone bouncing down separately. Nothing special there. Exactly what you'd expect to see. Uh, that's just the way it works. But if we were then to kill that music off, thank you and then stop the recording thank you very much then we get to something special let's pick up Premiere Pro let's go to a new project and we'll just call it Untitled, that's fine yes, I know you catch in the title afterwards it's not important, this is a demo project welcome to Adult Premiere Pro by the way a very interesting little program I'm just going to bring a little screen across here because I keep this outside my, my second monitor for convenience reasons put that there, there we go okay, so Premiere Pro, is, this is my custom setup, and I keep it like that's usually on my second screen. Not important. But I'm going to grab that video file we created earlier. Here it is. Drop that into there. So you just grab the file from wherever it is in your system, drag it into your video editing program. There it is. Drag it into our media down here, timeline, and immediately we get the timeline. This is amazing piece of, piece, piece of uh, software here. We now have our uh, stream, and normally you'd have like one line of uh, video. In fact, if I go and grab the outer OBS video from earlier, there it is. That one is the one from but I recorded earlier in the uh, earlier in the day. Here it is. If I just uh, turn the volume of my system back up so you'll be able to hear something. If I play that, it's in setups of OBS because OBS is the software I use for capturing pretty much everything. Okay. If I expand that tab, and um, we'll just move this up for convenience. Oop, thank you. You can see there, microphone audio is there. Dual track, well, um, dual channel, one track. Uh, that's my microphone and the system sounds all in one Everything go. Everything I do as recorded is captured in OBS or it's live streamed, it's captured in OBS set up to live stream mode. Okay, so that's that channel. Now, if I wanted to extract my video, my audio from a microphone from my system audio, I can't do that. That's one, it's one track. But you notice how this one's twice as deep. If we expand that, there we go. Get rid of you for a minute, please. Boop. Here, however, we've got my microphone audio that we talked when we were talking, and here we've got the system audio. I mean, if we just hear, listen. Just a couple of those notches, that's important. And then what we're doing now is something. Right, now if I do it again, but I mute this one. Just a couple of those notches, that's important. Okay, and if I do it again, but mute the other one. So that gives us the ability to actually filter them out. Now, that's important here. And if you remember this part. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. I do like the uh, music. Now, you probably can't. Now, that music is quite loud. And my audio is quite quiet. For example, I could turn that down. Da, 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 da. I do like the uh, music. No, there you go. Okay. So that makes it really quiet. Or the alternative, I could turn it right up. Da, 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 da. I do like the uh, music. No, you can't hear very much of what I'm saying. So I'm going to turn that down. There we go. So this gives you the ability to control the audio volumes from the microphone audio on the bottom track two. And track one, which is the game audio, or the, whatever the system was. And that is a very, very important, very powerful tool. Because you imagine, oh, that, I need to get, I need to cut that piece out there. Let's say that I need to cut that because it was way too loud. I need to cut that out. It's annoying, or it was a problem, and to cut that piece out there. But I want to keep this piece of audio. What you can do, disconnect the uh, streams so they can move independently of each other. Uh, you would cut that one there, and there, there, and there. Just get rid of those. Boom, gone. Bring that back over here. And now what you've got is the same audio for the microphone. There we go. Now we've been the audio up. But the uh, music, or the game, from that section. So that's very useful. Also, if there's a part where, for example, oh, I, I cough there. Well, I can literally come in and go, snip, snip, remove the cough, and no one would ever know. Ba -da -da. I do like the... Uh... So yeah, multiple audio tracks are extremely powerful. Also, if you said something really uh, useful, um, like there, you can also take that, copy it, paste it, and put it over here. So it would it can be in two places. That you couldn't do with audio before because there used to be one conjoined track. I hope that really helps you out. 
Um, when you, by the way, when you render this video out using your your appropriate rendering software, it will combine it into one single output track, so that you uh, because if YouTube will not accept both tracks. If you try to upload that video raw to YouTube, it will take the first track only, ignore the second track. Push it through your rendering software, it'll combine them into one track and output it as a combined track for you, which is great. That's what you need, but. You don't upload these straight to YouTube with that sync with that dual track. I've done it before. You get no audio from the microphone if it's in track two. But anyway, that I hope that's been very useful. That is to me is one of the most powerful features of it. If you do this and you do not get the two audio tracks, open the video. If I just give the video, open the video in VLC. Uh, VLC. Hello. Uh, let's pause that a minute. Open it into VLC. Do audio tracks and see if you have two tracks. If you do. You can switch between them in VLC. Most media players don't let you switch between them, so VLC lets you do that. If you see the two tracks here, but you don't see the two tracks in your editing suite, it's possible that your editing suite doesn't support dual audio tracks from an MP4. In which case, you have to use a third-party tool like Audacity or upgrade your rendering software. Even like the Adobe, um, Adobe Premiere Pro, the 2015.3 supports it. I think the CS5 or CS3, whichever the previous version was, does not support it. So uh, to be aware of that at the time, but definitely worth track and is definitely a, a very powerful tool to have that ability to have different audio streams. They are so useful, especially for long edit runs uh, where you can actually keep your microphone audio cut separately and move them around and not to worry about it clashing when moving that stuff around. So, yeah, very, very useful. Hope you'll enjoy. I hope you find this helpful. If you do, let me know and I'll uh, I'm very happy that I've been able to help you. But uh, if you want me to talk about anything else in detail, let me know and I will do that as well. But until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.